Welcome to Experimental's list of the world's worst sounds. Number 14, a maniac with an electric drill. Number 17, a nasty phlegmy cough. Number 7, a violin played very badly. But don't take our word for it. We nicked the list off this man. Professor Trevor Cox, acoustics guru at the University of Salford. He's your man if you want to make your concert hall sound sweeter or your stereo speaker sound better or understand why that opera singer just broke your wine glass. But recently, he's turned his back on the sound of music in favour of things that make you go, ah! Number four, polystyrene being rubbed together. I find it very interesting that we have a set of sounds, like scraping sounds or the sounds of people being sick, that we don't really understand why we have such a strong reaction. And so I just wanted to kind of look into some other more interesting sounds. Number six, an alarm clock. <laughs> I mean, fascinating, but no, it's what Professor Cox wanted to find out was, were there some sounds that everybody agreed were bad? <laughs> or are our opinions subjective? He decided to collect a wide range of sound and test people's reactions to them. Well, we first of all started thinking about all the possible sounds we could, we could record and get people to listen to. And so we just really went around the department and just talked to lots of people and drew up this very large list of sounds and so then went around trying to collect them. But how to test these reactions? The answer was to create an internet site called Bad Vibes. Professor Cox's candidates for the title of the world's worst sound. Well, you go on and the first thing you do is you put in some contextual data, just uh, things like gender, where you are, and your age. And then you just listen to sounds. And then you vote on how horrible it is. There's a little scale from, from one to six, or there's little smileys you click on to say how horrible the noise is. It then tells you how your response compares to the average result, and on you go, listening to more and more sounds, as many as you want. So before we check out the results from the website, which sounds jar with the ears of the average Brit on the street? The sound of a baby crying in a train or a bus. <laughs> very, very, very loud and really, really gets to you. Knife sharpeners. You know, when you've got those metal rods that you can scrape the knife back and forth to sharpen it, I really, really don't like that. It gets my teeth going. I think one of the worst sounds I've ever heard is my wife giving birth. Avalanches of poo. <laughs> most primeval, guttural, roaring sound I've ever heard, and it frightened me a lot. I hate uh, radio mic interference, planes going overhead, and people shouting, well, hey, hello, mum, things like that. Uh, generally, anything that makes my day longer. So how do these results compare with the results from the around 800,000 hits on the Bad Vibes website? The results aren't all in yet, but it does seem that for some sounds, the context within which you hear them is important. I think a good example of context is whether you have control over a sound. So if you've got your neighbours making a lot of noise next door, they're just about to have a party, and if you've got no control over it, they haven't told you the party is going on to so-and-so time and then ending, or if they haven't invited you, then you're much more likely, I think, to be annoyed by that because you have no control. Perhaps more interesting is that there seems to be a connection between sight and hearing. Some of the most interesting stuff we've been looking at early on is looking at the audio-visual interaction. So what's on the screen and how does that affect what, how you score? So as, we, as the voting's been going, we've been changing what's on the screen. For example, we changed the colours. So originally the, the, the screen was sort of bluey-green colour and for some time, for about 100,000 votes worth, we had it as a red colour. And I can tell you that when we had a red website, things sounded less horrible than when we had a bluey-green website. But it seems that some sounds are bad, no matter what the context. Worst sound in the world number two, the sound of fingers scraping across a blackboard. Ow. The worst noise is definitely the, the fingernails down the black blackboard because it gets my backbone on edge. It is awful. I think it's fascinating about fingernails down the blackboard because if you just say fingernails down the blackboard, people start <laughs> cringing even before, you know, you make a sound or anything. So it's a pretty strong and inbuilt reaction to us. I mean, I've got a colleague who said, well, maybe it's something about 
we don't like the feeling of dragging our fingers across stuff. I mean, certainly, it doesn't feel very nice to do it. But what is the world's worst sound? Well, Professor Cox believes he's well on the way to finding out. So far, the retching sounds, the sound of someone throwing up is, is the worst. And um, one of the reasons that's the worst is it's a particularly unpleasant recording. It really is not very nice at all. I wouldn't recommend listening to it. Well, you can't say you weren't warned. The worst sound in the world, the sound of someone being sick. <laughs> and is it worse when we add pictures? <laughs> Quick, cue that music. <laughs> <laughs>